Hey Buzz fam, it's your girl Bella. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be revealing my 2024 luxury wish list. This list will encompass all the things that I would love to get this year, including purses, jewelry, perfume, and just other miscellaneous things. Okay, let's start off with purses and wallets and just all purse related things. The first thing is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. For this key pouch, there are different options. I would either want the canvas or the monogram imprinté leather in black. I'm not really sure which one. There's around like a hundred dollar price difference between the two. The canvas is obviously cheaper than the leather. I like the canvas because I like LV's canvas print, but then I like the black leather because it's black and so it's more discreet. So I don't know which one I'd want. I think I'd have to just see them both in person and decide from there. I should probably explain why I want the key pouch. So I want the key pouch because I. I just want a place to put my coins. Currently I have my coins like a little coin purse that I carry in my main everyday bag but if I'm not carrying that bag I don't have my coins and I don't usually need coins but there are like odd moments when like let's say something costs 105 and now I have to swipe my card because I don't have my coins. So it'd be nice to have a little coin pouch that also carries my keys. This coin pouch comes with gold hardware, it has a zipper closure, it's also leather lined and has a key ring and a hook. This retails for $325 in the canvas print, $420 in the leather, so about a $100 price difference. This is Louis Vuitton, so neither one is like an economical price. So at that point, it just kind of depends on which one I like more. I need to just see them in person and decide, but I would love to get that coin pouch. The next thing is a YSL Cassandra Matalase card case. This is like probably the very, very first thing I need to get that's on this list, bro, because this, oh my God, I have a hair in my eye. This is probably the very first thing I need to get that's on this list because I need a card case. Right now I use my wallet, it's from Coach. I don't love it, I've had it for about two years and I got it as like a random secret Santa gift. It's done the job, it's been a great wallet, but it's just not what I want. I want like a black YSL card case, AKA this one. I think it would be perfect to just hold my cards in. I usually carry my ID and like three or four cards and this can hold five cards, so it's a perfect size. It has gold hardware and it just match my purse so much better than my coach wallet does because I don't even have any coach bags so I like a card case that matches my purse the inside of this card case is leather and gloss lining and it retails for $3.25 so about the same price as the key pouch I just feel like this is something that I need to get sooner than later and I want this with the gold hardware I do have a few bags on the list not many if you watched my previous video on the top 10 best quiet luxury handbags then some of these will not be a surprise to you the first bag is the Paulin Numero Dix bag in black. This bag comes with a long strap so it can be worn as a long shoulder bag or as a crossbody. It is roughly 9.5 inches long. And the reason that I want this bag is because I want it as like an everyday bag or as an airport bag. Right now my everyday bag is my YSL Lulu, but I would like an everyday bag that's not as luxury just for maybe if I'm going to like a work event or something. Personally, I do not like wearing luxury items to anything related to work because I feel like they're looking at me like, oh, People are judgmental when you like nice things, okay? So I would like this as like an everyday bag when I don't want to carry a luxury bag, especially when I travel at the airport because as you all probably know, when you travel, you have to put your purse underneath the seat in front of you and I hate putting my purses on the floor. You have no choice when you're traveling, of course, but I absolutely hate doing that and I would rather do it with a bag that's less than a thousand dollars and a bag that's several thousand dollars. Call me crazy, but that's just what I'd prefer. This bag is made out of textured calf leather. It is 100% microfiber suede lining on the inside. And I love how it has like minimal hardware, a zipper closure, it's just very simple. The moon shape is gorgeous. The hanging straps on the side are really unique. I just think this is a really cute bag. Not to mention that it's also hand stitched. And this bag retails for just 580, so I mean, I want it and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> The next bag is also by Paulin. This is the Noof mini bag. I would want this bag in either taupe or chalk. Probably taupe though. Probably taupe. This is a top handle bag. It comes with a crossbody strap if you wanted to crossbody it. Personally, I would only wear this bag if I'm like going out to get food. That's just, it just gives me like a, I'm going out to eat vibe. Like that's what kind of bag this is. So I wouldn't use a crossbody. I would only top handle it. But I love how classy and elegant this bag looks. This bag is roughly 5.5 inches long by 8.6 inches tall, including the top handle strap. So it's a smaller bag, but again, perfect for just going out to eat. This bag is also hand stitched, made out of textured calf leather and it's 100% cotton lined. And I just love like the shape of this bag. I just really want to get it so I can see it in real life. But I love how it looks so like squishy and flexible. 
comfortable, but it seems to still be able to like hold its structure. So that's important to me. When I do get this bag, it needs to be able to like still stand on its own. I don't like bags that just are falling down, especially because I would use this bag as a bag that I would use. <laughs> when going out to eat, so it needs to be able to like stand on its own. The next bag is also by Pollen, who is confused. It is the Simi Mini, also in the taupe color. Uh, I don't know, there, this bag has a lot of cute colors. I talked about this in my other video. This bag is cute in taupe and it's also cute in cognac. I think those are the two colors that I would really be torn between getting. I don't really wear taupe bags that much, but this is a smaller taupe. It is roughly 8.6 inches long by 13 inches tall, so it's not a super big taupe. It's a nice size. and I I feel like sometimes I do want a tote bag to carry like my iPad or maybe a book in depending on what I'm doing that day. This bag can be top handled or worn as a shoulder bag. I definitely wear this as a shoulder bag because it is a tote. And it's made out of textured calf leather, microfiber suede lining, and it has this removable interior pocket which can be used as like a large wallet, sort of like how the Neverfull comes with that little wallet thingy. That's how this one is too. It comes with a removable pocket. You can either attach the pocket or remove it and it also has a magnetic closure I just feel like the actual design of this bag is so unique and so gorgeous you can either cinch the sides and give it a flower style as I like to describe it or you can leave the straps hanging on the sides and it's more of like a basket sort of feel I think for the most part I probably leave the straps hanging because I really really like that shape I feel like it's a very unique shape that I don't see often but if I was maybe carrying a lot of things in it and I wanted to feel more secure it would be nice to just be able to cinch those sides so I like that that's an option and this bag retails for just four so not a bad price the very last bag is probably the first bag i'll get on this list because it's been eyeing me and i've been eyeing it this is the songma luna bag in the small size this bag has a detachable strap so it can be worn in four different ways you can crossbody it long strap top handle clutch like there's so many ways to wear this bag and I think that's literally magnificent because it's a four in one. You can transition from daytime to nighttime. And I, I love whites and really light colors. So the white would be perfect for me. It comes with a matte gold hardware, which is also something different that I don't usually see. I don't usually see matte hardware. I don't know how scratch resistant that would be. Like I said, I've never experienced matte hardware, but super cool. And I think it kind of makes the bag even more subtle because the hardware is not like so dramatic on the bag. This bag is made from milled fine calf leather, microfiber leather lined, and it's roughly like nine inches or so. And this bag retails for just $2.99. Like what? I need to get my hands on this like yesterday. <laughs> like yesterday I needed this bag, okay? This bag would have been perfect with my outfit, wouldn't it? I think so. Like, I think this bag is stunning. It's gorgeous. And I just love that you can wear it in so many different ways. I love a versatile bag. And also this one's just so freaking cheap. So that is the last bag on this list. Let's move on to some household things. I only have one thing in this category, which is the West Elm Silky Tensile Plush Comforter and Shams. So this is kind of random, but it may seem random, but I have a very good reason why I want these. As y'all probably noticed, I have no comforter on my bed. I just have blue blankets on my bed. I have no comforter. The reason why is because I used to have an Ugg comforter that actually tore one day in the dryer. I had it on tumble dry no heat which is what I always do because you can't use heat on it and it ripped and I was like you know what, whatever. I honestly wanted to get rid of that comforter anyway for two reasons. One it had like this shearling whatever on the inside so it would catch like debris and like dirt and stuff really easily which was not cute. Also it's an Ugg comforter so it was stupid hot like only time I ever actually went underneath my comforter is in the winter otherwise I would just sleep with blankets because it was way too hot. But now that it's torn I have no comforter and it's currently January so I would like to get a new comforter. The West Elm Silky Tensile Comforter has been on my radar for probably like two months now. I've just been eyeing it. I didn't know which color I'd want at first and I've decided that I would want the frost gray, which as y'all can see my room is like, y'all can't really see, but my bed is very neutral. But I think the frost gray would fit in my room more because the wood in my room is like a light gray wood. So I think the frost gray would really just tie everything together. I think it would be very, very nice. This comes with a queen comforter and two shams. It is 320 thread count and it is described as silky with moisture wicking technology to stay cool. And that's so important to me because even though I love warm weather, I hate being hot when I'm sleeping. So a comforter that will keep me cool that's what I need. Also, the frost gray would work better in my room because I obviously have gray doors. I'm in an apartment, so like 
I will not always have red doors, but it will just fit the entire color scheme better. And this retails for $3.27. There's a cheaper option if you decide to not get the shams and just get the comforter, but I definitely want the shams because just the comforter, I don't think that's enough in my opinion. So I'll probably get this like next month, honestly. The biggest category is jewelry, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing in this category is the Gingerberry Tassel Love Earrings. These earrings have five four to six millimeter Aurora pearls. Ah, that's so hard to say. These are high luster round pearls and they're real. And it's also made out of 18 karat solid gold. No meal, baby. I think these earrings are really, really nice. They're such a statement piece. You wouldn't have to wear a necklace with them. They just kind of stand out on their own not to mention these retail for 239 what things like this are the reason why i refuse to buy like costume jewelry and also jewelry just from like luxury brands because a lot of luxury brands will sell you costume jewelry for thousands of dollars and it will have fake gold fake pearls <clears throat> chanel chanel loves to do that they love to sell a big old cc earring with a pearl hanging and the gold and the pearls are fake absolutely hate that and it's for an insane price. This is real pearls, real gold for $239. Like, I'm in general, I'm just a fine jewelry person. I do not like costume jewelry. I don't like big chunky jewelry. So I would love these earrings. They're a great price. And they'd also be a good gift to someone if you know they're into jewelry. All the next things are all from Missouri because I'm obsessed with them. Missouri, if you're watching, let's collab because I'm about to put the people on to so many of your guys' great products. And the girlies want a discount code, okay? Let's talk about it. The first thing, and let me just also say, if I had the things on this list that I'm mentioning, I would have worn them today, okay? I went out to brunch earlier and I was thinking about how I wish I had some Missouri earrings. Let's get started. The first ones are the Missouri Bold Small Hoops. I'm just looking at these like, these would have been perfect with my outfit today. Like they would have legit been perfect. I would want these earrings in the 14 karat yellow gold. And just for y'all's knowledge, these are also available in 14 karat white gold. And that will be the case for all the jewelry that I'm talking about from Missouri. I just don't want to keep repeating that. So I want the 14 karat yellow gold, but these are all available in 14 karat white gold as well. The diameter of these is 15 millimeters with the 3.2 millimeter width. So not a very big earring and you can add charms to them, which I think is super duper cute and fun. I have some Missouri earrings. They're actually the Vermeil. I got, they're not what I'm wearing right now. I got them for free when I ordered this bracelet that I always wear. Um, I got it for free with this bracelet and they're pretty nice. For the longest time, I was not willing to spend a lot of money on earrings because earrings fall out of my ears a lot, especially because I used to have gauges and I'm just not willing to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on earrings just to lose them but these ones have a really good closure and I know this from my other Missouri earrings the way that they close it's very very secure so I actually would feel comfortable buying more expensive earrings or like real gold earrings from Missouri and these retail for $348 which is not a bad price for gold hoops the next earrings are the pave diamond pearl huggies another earring that has a great closure the earrings that i have from missouri have this exact same closure actually these are 14 karat yellow gold with natural diamonds and a pearl like that's just me gold diamonds pearl <laughs> love it the diamonds are super super small they're actually 0 0.088 carats so itty bitty diamonds kind of like my necklace and the pearl diameter is roughly 5 to 5.5 millimeters i like these earrings because they're natural diamonds not lab grown but still ethically sourced and they have a pearl and they're gold and these are only 4.8 4.28 like where are you seeing that at chanel and cartier will never give you these prices for real items it's just like for me it's a no-brainer either i'm buying jewelry from like missouri gingerberry or i'm going to a jeweler okay i'm a liar because this is from tiffany but this is a gift <laughs> the next ones are the easy huggy hoops these are 12 millimeters in diameter 1.3 millimeters in width so they're super super tiny and delicate you can also add charms to these and they retail for just 128 there's also the option of just buying one earring and that retails for 65 dollars you may be wondering why would i just buy one earring if you have maybe cartilage piercings or things like that you can just get one for those i honestly don't know what i would do i used to have a lot of ear piercings y'all currently the only ones i use is my first hole and then this one and this is like white gold i think but i would like to replace this one with a normal gold one even though i literally always forget that i have this and because these are so small i wouldn't mind wearing these in my second hole as well there's some options but i think these are a really good earring 
and I want them. That's it for earrings. Next up is rings because I don't own any rings, but I feel like I have really pretty hands and my nails are always done. So I wouldn't mind like having some rings as well. I used to not wear rings because I didn't like my nails, but simple fix is just getting your nails done. The first ring is the stacker ring. This is a super basic ring. Again, I don't want this in the 14 karat yellow gold. The band thickness is one millimeter. So this is really tiny. But it's a stacker ring. It's meant to be stacked with other rings. This is not a ring that's really meant to be worn on its own. And it's only $88. And the reason why it's so inexpensive, again, is because it's meant to be worn with other rings. So not a bad price. The ring that I'd wear this with is called the Diamond Team Ring. This ring is 14 karat yellow gold with natural diamonds all around. The band thickness is 1.3 millimeters and the carat weight is 0.15, so just a little bit more than our earrings, and it has 15 natural diamonds. I love that this ring is super dainty. As I mentioned, I like fine jewelry, I like dainty jewelry, I don't like chunky stuff. This would stack so well with the stacker ring, and I just appreciate that with Majuri, you can get natural diamonds and feel confident that they're ethically sourced. That's just my sort of thing. I don't want lab grown, I don't want fake, okay? And this retails for $3.98, so not a bad price. And the very last ring is the duo ring. So this is two rings in one, both in 14 karat yellow gold. The first ring is a sleek band. The width is two millimeters. And the second one is a twist band with a width of 2.5 millimeters. So one is slightly bigger than the other one because they're meant to wrap around each other in this really cute like X shape that I like. This retails for just $2.98. It's funny because both the rings I was looking at are rings where you'd wear two on one hand, but they're dainty. I think I want, I'd want one more because I think I'd want two fingers have a ring and then one hmm. but yeah I, I like these I really would like to get them I think they'll just make my hands look even more beautiful than they are the last category is perfume so I'm not married to getting any of these perfumes I own a lot of perfume and I got a lot of perfume for my birthday last year and personally I don't love to own like more than 10 perfumes. Right now I own 10. I've never had this many perfumes at once. And the reason why I don't like having a lot of perfumes is because perfumes expire and perfume is quite expensive. So I would hate to buy something or be gifted something and it expires like no, 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 no. Now, of course, perfume does have a pretty long shelf life, especially if you store your perfume correctly, but I'm not married to getting any of these. A lot of them I just want to go in the store and smell because I haven't smelled them before and I've heard good things about them, but let's go through the list. The first perfume is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This perfume I actually have smelled. I got a little perfume book from Sephora and I was smelling all the perfumes and thinking, ugh, you suck, ugh, you suck, ugh, you don't smell good. And the only one that smelled good was of course the Tom Ford. Because why not? Why wouldn't the most expensive perfume be the one that I like? This is a unisex perfume. It is described as warm and spicy. The scent type is woody spices. And the key notes are tobacco leaf, vanilla, and ginger. I personally love vanilla, so I think this would smell really nice. And it's unisex because it has that tobacco in it, which is very popular in a lot of men's colognes and men's candles and things like that. This scent is layerable, which is also really nice. And the price ranges depending on how big of a bottle you get. The next one I have not smelled, it's called Vanilla Sex by Tom Ford. I just want a vanilla perfume. I don't know if it's because it's winter time and I feel like vanilla is the best scent in the fall and the winter. It's just so warm and cozy. This is also described as warm and spicy and the scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. The key notes are vanilla tincture, vanilla absolute, and sandalwood. That just sounds so up my alley. Again, this is a unisex perfume and it's layerable. I'm just now getting into layering my perfumes. So I really appreciate these perfumes that let you know that they're good for layering because that's always nice to know. The next perfume is called Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I forgot who I watched, but someone that I watched, I think her name was Amelia maybe, but she made a video about all the perfumes that get her stopped in public or that people like run down the street trying to figure out what she's wearing. And Bitter Peach was one of them. This perfume is not unisex. It is described as a floral fragrance. So a lot more girly, sweet, more of a daytime scent if you ask me. The scent type is Fruity Florals and the key notes are Peche de Vigne, Blood Orange, and Patchouli, which sounds really good and yummy. And the very last perfume is the Jimmy Choo I Want You 
or Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever. I got this from the same video. I believe she said Jimmy Choo I Want You, but she was holding Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever. Again, I've not smelled either one of these, so I just wanna smell them. I do have an idea of which one I would like more. The scent type for I Want You is warm florals with keynotes of mandarin juice, jasmine, and vanilla. Jasmine and vanilla sound great, but I don't think mandarin juice would smell nice. I also just, I don't like, I'm not a big like mandarin or orange person, so I don't think I want to smell like that. I Want You Forever is a lot more up my alley. This is described as another layerable scent, and the scent type is warm florals, with the keynotes being juicy rose, black cherry liqueur, and moss accord. That sounds so sexy if you ask me. This scent is also described as being long lasting, which is always, always a plus. I have another Jimmy Choo perfume and I can attest that Jimmy Choo makes a strong perfume because they do last. So that's everything guys. That is my 2024 luxury wish list. At the end of the year, I'll refilm this video and I'll let you know what I actually got from this list. Who knows, I might not get anything from this list. I might decide to get a whole bunch of other things that I want instead. But there are some things on this list that I really feel like I want to get this year. So we'll see. Let me know down below in the comments what is on your 2024 wish list, whether it's luxury or non-luxury. Thank you all as always for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!